So this is my 1975 MGB GT right hand drive model. Uh, got a bit of an issue with the brakes, replaced both front calipers, uh, bleeding the system up and wasn't getting any brake efficiency. Uh, I believe the master cylinder is broken. So we're going to go out replacing that today. So first things first, you need to go ahead and remove all the screws from around here. I've gone ahead and done that, some of these were quite rusty, so it took a bit of effort. Get those removed, and then we can get this cover off out of the way. And that reveals the pedals on the back of the both the clutch and the brake cylinder. So go ahead and get those out now. So you get the two split pins out, and these pins are in here, get those out of the way. Next thing we need to undo, this bolt across here that's holding the pedals in place. So once you get the bolt out, the pedals will fall down. Make sure you catch all the spacers and washers, and remember the order they go back together. Um, Keep all the nuts and bolts handy. Uh, next thing we need to do is try and get all of these rusty bolts out. And here you can see where the brake fluid's been leaking. I need to clean that up and give it a coat of paint. So I'll go on and get those started. Okay, so I got most of these bolts out now. Um, there's one down the back side here. I'm trying to get a torch in there. Right at the back there, the access is pretty tricky, so I'm trying to figure out a way to get that one out and then I'll let you know how I did it. Okay, so after a bit of back and forth, managed to get this one out. I get a torch in there so you can see. Uh, ended up with a 3 8 wobbly um, and a long, ex long extension onto an impact gun. Just take it easy so you don't rain the bolt off. It comes out eventually. Okay, so the next job now we've got all those out. We need to loosen the two bolts off that are in the driver's foot well. So I'll take them out completely so that we can slide this forward very carefully just enough to get onto the pipe connections at the back get those loosened off and then we can take this whole assembly out onto the bench replace the master cylinder give this all a bit of a clean and paint and then uh, put it back together so as you can see we're in the driver's foot well this car used to be orange I previously had painted it I've got a bit of work to do in here but you can see up there the opening, I've just pulled the rubber bung out. You can see one small bolt that side, and then there's one. I don't know if you'll be able to see it up in up on that side. So we go ahead and get those out, and then hopefully we can remove that entire cradle. Okay, so we've got those two bolts out there down the back there. So this whole thing should be loose. Uh, we don't want to just pull it out because we've still got the pipes attached at the back, but just want to try and move it forward enough so we can get those uh, brake pipes off the back. So just give it a bit of a wiggle to free it up and uh, see if we can just get, get access to those pipes there. Let's get those off and then we can get this on the bench, clean it up, replace the 
match the cylinder and uh, away we go. Okay, so you can see we've got these two pipes loose, just popped a couple of rags in there, try and catch as much of that fluid as possible. Yeah, brake fluid uh, tends to make things end up looking like this. So, uh, yeah, just try and catch as much of that. Don't forget, your master cylinders might still have fluid in them, so just be careful when taking the unit out. So now this unit should should lift out as one piece, and uh, we can take it over to the bench. Okay, so now on the bench, just got a little pot there to catch that fluid. We drain that out first, and then just need to get these two these two bolts right here for the brake master cylinder. Clutch cylinder looks like it's been replaced at some point, but we will give all that a clean up. Give this frame a clean up and a coat of paint. Same in the engine bay, and then uh, get it all back together. Okay, so we got that all off. Did this a brush up, wash off, quick satin, and then just a uh, coat of paint just to tidy it up a bit. We're not going for any show winning competition. Just try and tidy it up. Okay, so we're coming over to the messy bench. Just going to use wire wheel, wire brush, just get all the worst of the rust off. Just give it a quick sand and then stick some black paint on it. Okay, so we've just given it a quick wire brush. I'm not going to spend too long on it. I might end up respraying the whole car, in which case parts like this will get replaced anyway. So just a case of trying to stop the rust. So give this a coat of uh, rust preventer. Let that dry, and then we'll stick some satin black on it and uh, stick it back together. So we're going to use some of this rust converter. Uh, just give it a liberal, liberal coat, 20 minutes or so to dry, and then that gives you a prime surface to paint on. Chemically changes the rust back into metal. Apparently, that's what it says on the tin. I tend to use it; it seems to work quite well. So as you can see where the brake fluid's been leaking, it's kind of damaged the paint. Um, so I I might end up doing a full respray on this car. Uh, depends on a few other bits and pieces, but for now I'm just going to clean this up, um, put some of the rust converter on it, and uh, and leave it be for now. We'll see how we go with it. Okay, so I scraped all the loose paint off, got the old brake fluid out, bit of brake cleaner to clean it up. It's a bit worse than I would like. Unfortunately, I don't have any colour match paint, um, and as I've mentioned a couple of times, I might end up doing a full respray. So I think for now, I'm going to paint this in rust converter. Maybe put a bit of satin black underneath here because you can't see it anyway. Uh, just try and stop that rust from spreading. Um, so we get that done. So I got that rear area painted up. Um, decided I'm going to go ahead and move this, remove this foam pad. Um, Unfortunately, it's hiding a bit more rust from that brake fluid breaking down the paint. Um, but we'll get all that off, get it cleaned, and as I say, paint it black for now. At least it'll give it a bit of protection. Get all this scraped off and painted up. Okay, there we go, got all that scraped out. Brushed back with a wire brush. Scraped all the flaky paint off, painted some rust converter on. Need to go and up and up, order up a new pad to go underneath, so get that done. I have to get this fitted back tomorrow. Hopefully, in my local moss, we'll have one of those pads in stock. So, I might have to go and pick it up. If not, we'll have to put this back together in a couple of days. So, we've got that painted black. Not the best job in the world, but as I keep mentioning, probably going to end up doing a respray. I just want to stop that rust for now from spreading. So, not my best work, but 
should uh, should stop the rust for now. Okay, so you can see now that that rust converter is dried and we've got a nice primed surface to paint to. So I don't know how this stuff works, but apparently it chemically changes that rust back into metal and you can see now there's not, you can't see any rust on that surface. So we're just gonna go, I've warmed it up slightly with a with a hot air gun just so that the paint takes a bit better. It's a bit cold in the workshop, so let's get some paint on it, let that dry. And then uh, we can start assembling this part, but I can't put it back on the car until that foam pad arrives. So let's get, get it painted. Okay, so a little while later, we've got two coats of paint on it. It's not bad, at least it's all one color. No rust on it. It's nice and dry now, so we can get this, uh, get it assembled. Okay, so we're back at the clean bench. We've got the new master cylinder here, ready to go. It's got the uh, plastic reservoir as opposed to the metal one. It's uh, from Moss. Um, so, get that packet, get that all mounted up, get the clutch master cylinder mounted back up, get it all bolted together. Um, so I can't put it back in the car today because I need to get the phone pad, but we can get all this ready to go and uh, come back another day. So unfortunately, the original bolts aren't long enough. Um, the flange on this new master cylinder is much wider than the original. Um, these are UNF, which unfortunately I don't have any in, but I do have a, uh, a kit of UNC uh, nuts and bolts so I'm just going to go ahead and replace the old nuts and bolts with new slightly longer UNC and there we go got that all bolted up both back in ready to go back on the car just need to get hold of one of those foam pads that's it for today so it's the next day I managed to pick up one of the new foam pads from my local moss for a pound um, basically putting them back together is the re reverse of taking it apart just remember where everything goes uh, I used a bit of copper slip on the sliding bolts etc just to make that a bit easier um, get it all in, bleed it up, and away you go. Don't forget you need to bleed the clutch and the brake, because you've had both of those out. Um, get it all back together. Jobs are good and